the way we write software is about to change forever. Mark Zuckerberg, the founder of Meta, recently made a bold statement that could redefine the tech industry. He says, by 2025, Meta will have an AI that functions like a mid-level engineer, writing code for their applications. Let's break down what this means for the future of technology, creativity, and jobs. Probably in 2025, we at Meta, as well as the other companies that are basically working on this, are going to have an AI that can effectively be a sort of mid-level engineer that you have at your company that can write code. Think about it. AI writing the majority of the code is no longer just a futuristic concept. Tools like Cursor, Bolt, GitHub Copilot and others are already assisting developers today. But what Mark Zuckerberg envisions for 2025? Mm. And once you have that, then in the beginning, it'll be really expensive to run, then you can get it to be more efficient. And then over time, we'll get to the point where a lot of the code in our apps and, and including the AI that we generate is actually going to be built by AI engineers instead of people engineers. But, but I don't know. I, I think that that'll augment the people working on it. So in my, my view on this is like the future, people are just going to be so much more creative and are going to be freed up to do kind of crazy things. He's on an entirely new level and AI capable of independently creating and maintaining complex software systems. He describes a future where AI isn't replacing people, but augmenting them, unlocking new levels of creativity and productivity like never before. In the short term, AI-powered tools will still be expensive and complex to operate, but over time, they'll become more efficient and accessible. This opens up new possibilities, a world where people can focus on solving big problems and exploring their creativity while AI handles the repetitive tasks. But this evolution doesn't come without questions. What happens when AI is writing most of the code? Will the software still be readable by humans? Or will it evolve something entirely new? Symbols, visuals, or forms? We haven't yet imagined. And what about jobs? While well, some fear mass layoffs. Uh, another concern that people have is that it's going to eliminate a lot of jobs. Yeah. You know, what do you think about that? Well, I, I think it's too... It's too early to know exactly how it plays out. But my guess is that it'll probably create more creative jobs than it well I, I guess if you look at the history of all this stuff mm -hmm. my, my understanding is like 100 years ago um in, in, i don't know if this is 100 or 150 years ago but it was like at some point not too far along uh, in, in the grand scheme of things like the vast majority of people in society were farmers right because they kind of needed to be in order to create enough food for for everyone to survive and then we turn that into a it's like an industrial process. And now it's like 2% of society are farmers and we get all the food that we need. So what did that free up everyone else to do? Well, some of them went on to do other things that are sort of like creative pursuits or cultural pursuits or other jobs. And then some percent of it just went towards recreation, right? So I think generally people just don't work as many hours um, today as they did when back when everyone needed to farm in order to have enough food for everyone to survive. So I think that trend is sort of played out as technology has grown. And so my guess is that like the percent of people who will be doing stuff that's like physically required for humanity to survive will get to be smaller and smaller as it has. More people will dedicate themselves to kind of creative and artistic and cultural pursuits. Um, I think that's generally good. I think the number of hours in a week that someone will have to work in order to be able to get by will probably continue to shrink. Um, yet I think people who are super engaged in what they do are going to be able to work really hard and accomplish way more than they ever could before because they have um, like this unimaginable leverage from, from having a lot more technology. Zuckerberg points out that technology has always freed people to pursue creative and cultural endeavors from farming to industrial age and now the AI era. Humans have adapted and thrived. We are at the dawn of the new era of software development. Imagine an app where AI generates custom features on demand tailored to your needs in real time. This could redefine how companies approach product development and innovation. So is this the threat 
or an opportunity. If AI increases productivity by 30% or more, as some companies are already experiencing, we might see fewer traditional hires, but a rise in entirely new roles, roles that no one has thought of yet. One thing's clear, this isn't just about software. It's about a shift in how we think, work and create. AI yeah, will be the tool and will be the visionaries shaping what comes next. What do you think about this future? Are you ready to embrace it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more exciting content about technology, AI and the future. Hit the bell icon to never miss an update. I'll see you in the next video.